Coming up on Channel 8 Eyewitness News Live at noon, Paris Hilton could be heading back to jail. We'll show you all the commotion surrounding her today and have the very latest from court. Plus, a local teenager is dead after a rollover accident in our valley. We'll take a look at what happened. And it's a shopper's nirvana today. See which exclusive operation in Las Vegas is opening its doors to the general public. We've got a live report. This is breaking news from Channel 8 Eyewitness News. A North Las Vegas intersection is shut down right now. A semi overturned at Alexander and Donna. It's closing off the streets there. The driver of the truck was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Right now, crews are removing all the dirt from inside that truck so that they can flip it back over. The intersection is going to remain closed until the scene is completely cleaned up today. At this hour, Paris Hilton is in a Los Angeles courtroom. She's waiting to find out if she might be going back to jail. A judge sent a sheriff's car to her home where she was handcuffed and brought back to court. Manuel Gallegas has the very latest. A sheriff's car delivered Paris Hilton to a downtown Los Angeles courthouse. The heiress had been given permission to listen to legal proceedings by telephone from her home in the Hollywood Hills. But there was a last minute change of plans and she was told to get to court in person. A judge is reviewing the decision by the L.A. Sheriff's Department to spring the socialite after just three days. An unequivocal order was issued by Judge Michael T. Sauer provided for the incarceration of Ms. Hilton for 45 days and specifically precluded her release to electronic monitoring or house arrest. The L.A. Sheriff says medical reasons were part of his decision for letting Hilton out, but many folks just aren't buying it. I think it's insane, to be honest. I think if it was me or you, we'd have had to make, been made to spend the full term in jail. The early release may land sheriff officials in hot water as prosecutors want to hold them in contempt. Sheriff officials insist the hotel heiress move out of the big house and into a bigger one had nothing to do with celebrity justice. We believe after extensive consultation, we did the right thing. But the judge thought he did the right thing when he put Paris in jail. Manuel Gallegas, CBS News, Los Angeles. Now, Paris Hilton had been sentenced to jail for violating her probation and driving on a suspended license. A man accused of sexually assaulting several local women appeared in court today. Brian Ziegler had a status check. Prosecutors are investigating five cases against him. They hope to put those pieces together. Ziegler is accused of driving around town in a truck looking for women to abduct at gunpoint and then sexually assaulting them. A 15-year-old girl is dead after the car that she was riding in rolled over. It happened last night near the Henderson Executive Airport. Police say that six teenagers were in a Jeep Cherokee, and they apparently were speeding as they traveled on a dirt road. That's when the rollover happened. One teenager is hospitalized in serious condition. Two others are now out of the hospital. Metro wants your help locating this man, Jose Ovel Perez. They're calling him a person of interest in last week's deadly accident on Desert Inn at I-15. Police believe that he owns the white Honda, which hit a pickup truck. The crash sent the pickup truck over a barrier along DI onto the freeway below. The driver of the truck died. The passenger was hurt. The driver of the Honda apparently ran from the scene. Former Clark County Commissioner Lynette Boggs remains free while facing charges related to her re-election campaign last fall. She was booked through the Clark County Detention Center yesterday after a judge released her on her own recognizance. She's charged with four felony counts. Authorities say she was not living in the district she was running to represent and that she paid a nanny with her campaign funds. It's a state-of-the-art furniture center only open to industry professionals, but today the World Market Center is opening its doors to the public, and they're doing it for a good cause. Channel 8 Eyewitness News is live. Jamie McGriff is at the World Market Center, where some eager shoppers are already filing in. Jamie, what's happening? <laughs> well, you know, people are just gawking at everything that they seem to... Uh walk past is very interesting and the thing that's unusual this allows the general public to come here for the first time and not only find deals on floor samples that are hard to find but also meet with designers and learn more about the designing industry now this is a two-day event that was put on by the california central nevada chapter of the american society of interior designers and hundreds of curious shoppers have flocked out already they were checking out the broad selection of indoor and outdoor furniture furniture and accessories, items that um, you would otherwise have to be escorted 
by an interior designer or licensed uh, uh, decorator in order to see here at the World Market Center. A lot of people dodged our cameras saying that uh, they're busy, they're on a mission to find that perfect piece or knick-knack to add flair to their home, but we managed to catch up with one person or a couple of people. Trina Bellatini, uh, she was impressed with everything that she saw in the discount prices. She told me that she has a few items on her list that she's buying today. And rugs and, and side tables. And, uh, <laughs> pretty yeah, much yeah, come, yeah, we're pretty much everything. You don't find, you know, these things um, at the better stores, and then if you do, the prices would be much higher. And he had a big grin on his face when he told me that. There is a $10 admission fee, and proceeds will benefit three charities, Opportunity Village, Habitat for Humanity, and the Nevada AIDS Project. Now, you want to make sure, bring your comfortable shoes, because you have to go through 70 showrooms. And, you know, looking through all of that covers about two floors in two buildings here at the World Market Center, and it's pretty big. So this is going to be going on today, and it will go on until 5 o'clock. And then you have another chance to come out here at 9 o'clock this morning and everything will end at 10 so or actually at 9 5 p.m. tomorrow afternoon I'm sorry so there's a lot to see out here a lot of people are busy as you can see trying to find the best deals on the floor samples that are out here reporting live Jamie McGriff Channel 8 Eyewitness News Jamie what kind of deals have you seen so far a little bit of everything, Charlotte. Take a look at this. Now, this is a contemporary sofa sign that they have here. The suggested retail for this is uh, $23.98. Well, the sale price for um, the floor piece here is uh, $750. And then you have other items that range from $150. They're marked down to $49. And uh, once again, these are the floor sample sale prices. So make sure when you come out here that you're looking for these particular tags here. And also outside of the showrooms, look for this sign where it says floor sample sale. That's very important because some people may come into these showrooms thinking everything is on sale, but that's not true. So it helps out a lot when you check to see if they're having any floor samples that are on sale. Reporting live, Jamie McGriff, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Charlotte. Thanks, Jamie. Big place. It'd be great to go inside. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff is stepping down. Officials announced today that they plan to replace General Peter Pace rather than reappoint him because they feel that any confirmation hearing would have focused mostly on the war instead of the future. Pace's term ends in September. Defense Secretary Robert Gates has recommended replacing Pace with Admiral Mike Mullen. If you're flying out of town today, you'll want to check the status of any flight at McCarran Airport. Strong winds in the Midwest have caused some major delays at McCarran and also the cancellation of about 400 flights in Chicago. The storm wreaked havoc on Wisconsin yesterday. Five tornadoes touched down. It dumped baseball-sized hail, too, on parts of the state. Several people were injured in Wisconsin, but not seriously. A man accused of scamming hundreds of people out of a trip to the Pro Bowl is now facing charges. The Attorney General's office says that Mitchell uh, Kerchick used the payments to buy himself a lavish home. What's more is that hundreds of travelers didn't even realize their trip to Hawaii was actually a scam until the day before their flights. Prosecutors say that Kerchick got away with more than $500,000. They were only able to recover $190,000 from a company bank account. I hope they throw the book at them. I really do. I have 16 of my better friends that are out $1,000. I'd like to see them try to get their money back if possible, but uh, if that doesn't happen, I'd like, to see the, I'd like to see them do time. Churchick was charged for a similar scam in Minnesota. Anyone who purchased a Pro Bowl travel package and was not given a refund should call the AG's Consumer Protection Division. Here's the number for that, 486-3194. It has been 10 years in the making, and today the Las Vegas Springs Preserve is finally open. The 180-acre visitor's attraction gives the public a new way to learn about our rich natural history here. The entire project cost $250 million. Bucks. It includes galleries, museums, nature trails. It's located at Valley View near Alta. For details on the opening events this weekend, check out LasVegasNow.com. Summer vacations are right around the corner and a lot of people have been panicking about their passport status. But their fears may be allayed. We'll explain why coming up. A massive fire at a golf course destroys a classic old structure. And also the countdown is on. Atlantis is scheduled for liftoff today. We've got more on the shuttle mission coming up next.
Plenty of sunshine out there for your Friday, and you're going to notice the temperatures are warming up a little bit. Still, though, pretty comfortable where we should be uh, in those well, low 90s, at least in a lot of neighborhoods. Check out the valley temps right now. We are still in the 80s everywhere. Even Red Rock is cooler at 74. So we're going to continue the cooling trend today with cooler than normal temperatures. But oh, it heats up a little bit for your weekend, and we're back to triple digits next week. We'll check out your complete neighborhood weather forecast in just a couple of minutes. Stay with us. We have breaking news to bring you. We have just learned that Paris Hilton has been ordered to go back to jail. Apparently, she was taken from the court screaming today. She has been ordered by a judge to return to the L.A. County lockup. Again, Paris Hilton served about three days of a 40-day jail sentence. Uh, she was allowed to get out early by the sheriff's office. Uh, they said that apparently she had some sort of medical condition which allowed her to go to house arrest instead of stay in jail. Well, she's just been ordered by the judge overseeing her case to go back to jail. Again, Paris Hilton was just ordered to return there, and she was taken from the court house today screaming. We uh, will have more on this coming up in this newscast. Officials are trying to figure out what caused a fire in Michigan at a golf course. Flames broke out in the kitchen of the clubhouse. Three people were inside at the time. They were able to get out. At one point, the flames were shooting 50 feet into the air. The golf club was built back in the early 1900s. Officials plan to ease up on passport rules so that Americans don't miss their summer vacations. The State Department says that passports will not be needed as long as travelers show proof they've actually applied for a passport. There's been a record number of applications this year because of a new policy which requires Americans to carry passports for flights to Canada, Mexico, and the Caribbean. Right now, millions of travelers who applied for their passports months ago are still waiting to get them. We did not know exactly what the level of increase would be, and so our predictions fell a little bit short, uh, and that's why there's currently an, uh, a little bit of a crunch. The State Department actually says quite a bit of a crunch. They expanded facilities, hours, workers, but they say that still is not enough to process 17 and a half million passport applications that they're dealing with today. Another Democratic presidential hopeful is campaigning in Las Vegas. Senator Joe Biden is making two stops here today. This is video right now from a recent trip to the Midwest. About an hour ago, the Delaware senator met with the culinary union workers in our valley. And after spending time talking with the culinary union, he will head to the Paris Hotel Casino and attend the 21st annual 100 Black Men of America Conference. Well, though he's not feeling 100%, President George Bush has rejoined the G8 summit in Germany. The president reportedly had an upset stomach and he missed some morning meetings. Today is the last day of the summit and the leaders have agreed on a program to send $60 billion in aid to fight diseases like malaria, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS in Africa. Space Shuttle Atlantis is scheduled for liftoff today. The shuttle will... The shuttle will head to the International Space Station for an 11-day mission. Astronauts plan to deliver a new segment to the station, as well as a pair of energy-producing solar panels. This is a live pick of the shuttle. It was supposed to launch back in March, but NASA had to make a few last-minute repairs. If it's not tennis elbow, it might be wee-itis. Straight ahead details on a new injury that some game lovers are reporting. We'll tell you all about it. Kids and a lot of adults love the new Nintendo Wii game system because of its lifelike action. But a new report is suggesting that too much Wii could cause inflammation, or what's now being termed Wii-itis. Dr. Sean Kniff has a closer look. Brothers Alexander and Matthew Fernandez love the Nintendo Wii system because it offers lifelike action. I feel like if you were actually playing in real life. Get to slash the sword by going like this. But overplay, and it could be game over, literally. A letter in the New England Journal of Medicine describes the first case of injury associated with the Wii game system. That's right, acute Wii-itis. With older gaming systems, users often came down with tendonitis of the thumbs or fingers. But now, the Wii system uses motion centers for much broader movements, and that may cause additional problems. Dr. Steven Swirsky is an orthopedic surgeon at Miami Children's Hospital. It can certainly cause an overuse type of inflammatory problem with the muscle specific groups that are being used for that activity. He says Nintendonitis was first described in 1990, and while he's never seen a case of Wii-itis, he expects to. I think as 
the use of this equipment becomes more widespread, we'll probably end up seeing it a little bit more in the office. Alexander and Matthew have had no problems yet. We always put the wrist strap on, so we never really get hurt at all. And for them, the game is still on. Dr. Sean.